So still working with our straight lines, we are going to have a continuation again on our vertically opposite angle. So it's still a continuation that we are going to work with. So in this case, we want to see how to have equations using these vertically opposite angles. Remember, in our previous class, the concept is that when two straight lines crosses each other like that, vertically opposite angles are formed and these angles, they are equal. So we consider these two angles as vertically opposite to each other. We consider these as a vertically opposite to each other and they are equal vertically to each other. They are equal. So using that concept, it is the one that we are just going to use and form equations. So in this case, calculate the value of angle M. M from this part, these are two straight lines. They do cross each other. And we can notice that these angles, they are vertically opposite. So meaning to say from that, we can form an equation M plus 20 degrees. This angle that we have, it is supposed to be equal to the wall of this angle that we have on the other side, which is 180 degrees. So the concept or the statement that you're going to give is vertically opposite angles are equal. They are equal to each other. But you have formed an equation that you need to, to solve. You have formed an equation. You must solve that equation. So let's solve. Uh, we are going to take the 20 to the other side becomes a negative. The moment it crosses the equal sign, it was a plus. So M is equal to 100 degrees minus the 20 degrees you're now solving the equation which is going to be uh which is going to give you uh 80 degrees so meaning to say by substituting the m which is 80 80 plus 20 is what that's 100 which is the same as this one so that means your m in that in that case is correct but if you substitute that m here and you do not obtain this 100 it means you are wrong so just try to work out as many questions from the equations uh, using that statement of vertically opposite angles that are equal. So even to solve for T, we've got vertically opposite angles, two straight lines intersecting. So these two angles, they are equal. The angle of 3T plus uh, 12 degrees as it is, it is supposed to be equal to uh, 66 degrees. You have formed an equation, then solve it. So that's 3T is equal to, just like the previous case, take this to the other side of the equation. It is a plus. The moment it crosses the equal sign, it will be a minus. So that's 66 degrees minus uh, 12 degrees. So you're going to have uh, the difference between the two angles, 66 minus 12, which is going to be 54 degrees. So in this case, that was going to be 54 divided by 3 since we've got a product. So that means T is equal to what you divide uh, by three from your calculator. That was going to give you 18 degrees. So T is equal to 18 degrees. So as you can see, it's all about equations, solving of equations, forming and solving of equations. So make sure that you do work with your algebraic equations separately so that it will be easier for you to solve this equation that we are seeing. So for P, again, these are vertically opposite angles. They are equal again. So 108 as it is, it is equal to uh, 2P plus 30 degrees, or you can even write it as 2P plus 30 degrees is equal to 108, the way that you understand. These two sides, they are equal. So you can even write it the way that you understand, guys. Do not panic for that. All right. So that's 2P plus 30 is equal to 108 in the way that you understand. Then you can solve for P. Take uh, 30 to the other side becomes a negative. It was a positive. So 2P is equal to 108 uh, minus 30 degrees, which is the difference is the one that we are going to need. So that's 108 minus 30, which is 78 degrees. So in this case, you are going to obtain uh, 78 degrees, then divide by two, since there is a product, so divide by two so that you obtain uh, the exact value of P, which was going to give you uh, 39 degrees. So that is uh, the value of P. And if you substitute that, you must obtain 108 in place of that P that you are given. And on the other part, you are given to calculate the value of Z 
Still using the same concept, these angles, they are vertically opposite to each other, considering the straight lines. So meaning to say, forming our equation, we are going to equate these two angles, that is 2z minus 10 degrees is equal to uh, 58 degrees. That's forming an equation. Then we can solve for z. There is a minus, so we're going to take it to the other side. The moment it jumps or crosses the equal sign, on this other hand, it becomes a positive. So 2z will be equal to uh, 58 degrees. Remember, this was a negative. So on this other side, it will be a plus. So then it is going to change its side. All right, so that's 2z is equal to 58 plus 10, which is uh, 68 degrees. Since we are multiplying, divide by the number that is multiplying, that is obtaining uh, the value of z, which was going to give us 34 degrees. All right, so that is the value of z, which is going to satisfy a condition where these two are vertically opposite angles. So that's how you form your equations. Remember, you had those equations that you were having on a straight line. You were forming equations because you are working with angles that are on a straight line. They add up to 180 degrees. But in this case, we are working with being vertically opposite. They are equal. This angle equal to this one. That is the concept. This one and this one being If you just understand that on your angles, you are good to go. You can answer any question. Form your equation. Solve your equation as usual. So I do advise you that you make sure that you work on your algebraic equations before you work these typical questions. Because as you can see here, there is a normal equation. What is on the left-hand side being equal to what is on the right-hand side. So you must solve just like what we are solving your equations before. So this is what we had till we meet again.